Yes, I've got Corey, his mother Nicole, and Dr. Metzger, um, endo Chronologist. Endocrinologist, pediatric endocrinologist. Let's begin with you, doctor, and then we'll, we'll work our way back to Corey's story. An amazing story. When, how old was Corey when you first? We decided nine. Nine years when old. When we first met, right, so seven years ago. And Corey came to you as Annika. That's right. And had gone through some uh, pre screening before coming to your office. But tell right. us a little bit about your office and, and how many kids around nine or in puberty, pre, pre pubescent, that come to your office and saying, I feel like I'm in the wrong body? Right. Um, so we only see kids after they start puberty because that's the point at which we know that things are probably not going to turn around. Right. Um, right now we're seeing about two or three kids a month, new kids a month. Uh, so we've, we've followed over the past 14 years about 100 other kids who are questioning their gender, transgender. That seems like a remarkably high number. Did it, did it seem to be lesser so in years past or is it just that it's this we're becoming question. more nobody of a sentence. Re nobody really sentence. knows if it's uh, becoming more um, uh, becoming more prevalent, or if really it's just kids are declaring themselves earlier because they have more exposure to things and feel more comfortable coming out a little bit earlier. Knowing that it's available. Okay, Nicole, I'm going to move to you. I promise I'm getting to you. <laughs> um, I want to talk to you because that's the, been the discussion that, uh, around our office and, and over the course of the weekend when talking about your story because you've been so amazing and sharing it with, with everybody publicly, making this change and changing your gender. Nicole, when Corey first came to you as Annika and said, Mom, I just don't feel like this is me, how, what was the process for you? I think it wasn't really a big surprise because Corey had always been a gender non-conforming child. Hmm. So very atypical for, you know, a traditional little girl, didn't want to play with dolls and the traditional toys, wanted to play with more traditional boy toys like cars and trucks and play hockey and sports and that sort of thing so it wasn't a huge shock it would have been more of a shock to say hey mom I want to go dress shopping or something like that <laughs> so so it wasn't it was a real relief to know that we had options and that we could support Corey in whatever he wanted to do and and I think it was an age where um, he felt his body was starting to change in a way that was really uncomfortable so uh, any mother I think just wants to help their child no question and as being a, a, a mother of an only child and and seeing my boy play with girls it is very innate when you talk about playing with girl toys and boy toys it's not as simple as yeah well you know some kids like you know tomboy or whatever it's very obvious yeah. when it's yeah. swayed to one side of the scale or the other what I found very interesting in your blog was how you discussed the nights when when Annika came clean to you about truly it wasn't great at school today mom and I'm not happy and I don't feel right. How did you deal with that as a parent? I think the real key is to listen to your child and f create those opportunities to talk about that stuff because I think you know Corey's a amazing strong kid but would hold it in and hold it in and be really strong through the day and then at night would let it out and say you know nobody will play with me I'm being bullied I don't feel like I fit in with any of the girls or any of the boys and that was that's hard but knowing that there's a safe place at home where they can talk to you and feel comfort and feel support I think is integral to moving forward and making decisions that can help your child okay it's finally your turn <laughs> awesome <laughs> I know let's do this I just I'm honored to meet you we are all honored to have you here because you are so clearly powerful and empowered in sharing your story when you finally did have the conversation with your mother about starting this process what was going through your mind how did it make you feel well I just knew that what I'm doing right like before when I was just on Lupron was was not something that I could do for the rest of my life so I had to kind of figure out like where do I want to go um, I definitely thought that testosterone was was a good start to the process mm -hmm. and then eventually I picked a name and um, Let's talk about that <laughs> let's talk about that right now because we've got uh, we've got uh, some photographic evidence that goes with that one how did you choose your name well this is Annika yeah. Um, Tell the story and well, Corey Schneider is my uh, is my favorite player, and uh, I was going through names and I'm like, Mom goes, what about Corey Schneider? And I'm like, Yeah, Corey Corey might work. So I tried that out and it, it stuck. And now you're going to Britannia High School. Yep. And you're playing hockey. And what position do you play? I'm a goalie. You're a goalie. And you're doing this documentary that is taking people on this journey with you. Well, how did you decide to do that? 
Well, I thought it was a great opportunity to educate others in terms of because Lupron is 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 definitely is like new to people, and um, I think that <laughs> it was important to to help others who feel the same way as I did when I went on Lupron. To Explain Lupron, please, for those Lupron who might not is, know. Um, uh, is a, it's a hormone blocker. Yeah, it suppresses yeah. puberty right. to give you time to decide if you want to transition or, or, or not. But obviously I decided to transition and uh, the reason why I did the documentary was to, to mainly educate and to hopefully get awareness of, of what Lupron is and, and what are the processes in, in transitioning. Now you talked about having been bullied as Annika in school not being bullied as Corey in school. No. How was it for you to arrive at school as Corey for the first time and what was the reaction from the friends? Um, there was not a lot of different. It was not different at all really. I think my friends are just knew I was the same person, just different name and different pronoun and and um, it was smooth sailing from then really. What are your goals in life? What do you want to what do you want to be when you grow up? It's a good question. It's a good question. <laughs> um, I have recently been thinking about maybe being uh, uh, like a mentor or like a, uh, a counselor to those who identify as gender non-conforming or transgendered or gender fluid or anywhere in the spectrum because I feel as though maybe my experience could help could help others and and having gone through that experience maybe um, yeah like helping them and the resources they need to do what what they feel is right. You've already started doing that because somebody somewhere, one, maybe just one person watching right now, yeah. feels better about themselves because of you doing this today yeah. on behalf That's of them. That's what I'm hoping. Thank you. Thank you for being so brave and sharing your story. You can see the documentary. You can follow Nicole on her blog. And uh, thank you, doctor, for being here. I know it's a very, very broad subject, a very broad topic. We could talk about this for hours and hours and hours. But at the end of the day, how old do you think you were when you knew that you were in the wrong body? When I was, I don't know, two? Two. Yeah. Yeah. That early. Oh, yeah. As a parent, you just don't, you know, that's been the conflict and then the discussion that we've been having here uh, in our newsroom about this topic is how do you know and, and reading your blog is fascinating. So parents, if you're wondering how to know, I suggest that you check Nicole's blog and we want to keep up with you. Come on here and talk more about this, will you? Definitely. All right. Thank you very much, Corey, Nicole, doctor. Uh, over to you, Michelle. Wow. What a brave young man and wise beyond his years. Indeed. Thank you so much.